that the White House finally admitted it. Our country is under attack and we need to secure our border. No, I'm not talking about the northern border to keep Canadians out. I'm talking about the border gateway protocol, one of the fundamental pillars holding up the internet and global economy with duct tape and hope. Back in 2008, YouTube went down across the entire world and we were deprived of nigahiga for hours, all because some government official in Pakistan messed up a config value when trying to censor the internet. In 2018, Amazon Route 53 DNS traffic was hijacked and wiped out the life savings of a bunch of crypto bros. Then in 2021, yet another misconfiguration took out Facebook and Insta for multiple hours. The world began to heal, but unfortunately they fixed it and came back online. And on multiple occasions, China and Russia have intercepted US internet traffic. But none of these incidents should have ever happened. In today's video, you'll learn exactly how the border gateway protocol works, why it's broken, and the plan to fix it. It is September 11th, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. If you're a highly experienced web developer like me, you might be feeling some imposter syndrome for having no idea what the border gateway protocol is. Don't feel bad though, it's above our pay grade. You see, the internet is like a Jenga tower of protocols, and one of the most sketchy pieces in that tower is something called the border gateway protocol. The internet is made up of a collection of networks that work like their own autonomous systems, like an ISP, big corporation, or government agency might all have their own networks. And BGP allows them to announce two things, that the network exists and which networks can be reached by them, allowing routers to automatically decide the most efficient path to take. It's almost like the post office of the internet. At the global level, individual IP addresses get grouped together into prefixes, and then routing tables between anonymous systems are maintained by the border gateway protocol. Like for example, all the traffic coming out of Verizon routers is one autonomous system, and all the traffic coming from AT&T is another. These networks are all connected together by routes, and this diagram shows how BGP helps them find the most efficient route to take in order to send packets between these networks. That's all good, but the problem is that this thing was designed 25 years ago before stranger danger was a thing, and before guys like Hans Gruber warned us of a global cyber attack. For one, it doesn't check to see whether a remote network announcing a traffic path change has the authority to do so, nor does it verify messages exchanged between networks are authentic, and it doesn't check whether routing announcements violate business policies between neighboring networks. It just runs on trust me bro vibes. Normally you can trust your bros, but when there's a route leak, the attacker might return an IP address for an illegitimate website, like during the Amazon Route 53 attack. In Anyone going to myetherwallet.com was returned an IP address for a fake website, and when they entered their credentials, the bad guys stole them and then used them on the real website to take all their money. In this case, it worked just like a phishing attack, but the scary thing is that the victim didn't actually do anything wrong and just went to the website that they normally go to. Well, luckily, I just paid my taxes a few days ago, which means this should all be fixed any day now. The fix uses the resource public key infrastructure to cryptographically sign records that associate a BGP route announcement with a correct original. AS number, which will prevent accidental or malicious route hijacking. The resource holder creates a signed route origin authorization, so network operators know that the advertised routes are legit. As usual, the EU is way ahead of the game here, where 70% of BGP routes have published ROAs, but that number is only 39% in the United States. That's not good, but you can blindly trust the government to get this all sorted out quickly and efficiently. In my opinion, the internet is the greatest creation in the history of humankind. It might be broken, but it can be fixed by humans who understand computer science, and you can start building that foundation for free today thanks to this video's sponsor, Brilliant. Their hands-on courses will make you a little bit smarter each day, like the Thinking and Code course will challenge you to start building programs on day one with a built-in drag-and-drop editor. As you level up your programming skills, more advanced courses, like how large language models work, allow you to harness the mechanics of today's most advanced technology. But most importantly, with just a few minutes of work each day, you'll start to look at the world like a programmer. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash fireship or scan this QR code for 30% off their premium annual subscription. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.